Losing weight is almost always associated with exercising, and that's certainly no less the case when it comes to losing belly fat. But if you want to lose that belly fat without exercising and you still want to do it safely and effectively, what do you do? Fortunately, if you wonder how to lose belly fat without exercise, chemicals, or surgery, there are many safe and effective options available to you. The following are all low-cost or no-cost ways to lose belly fat that don't involve exercise. Many of them include diet, as that's the most effective way to lose weight anywhere on the body, as well as other natural lifestyle changes. The more of these you do at once, the greater and faster the results you're likely to see. Arguably, the best and most effective approach is to incorporate as many of these actions as you can into your routine. Make them into habits. That way, you develop a lifestyle that not only supports losing that belly fat, but keeping it off too. Get sufficient sleep. In a 2016 study, researchers at King's College London discovered a link between sleep deprivation and consuming extra calories. Specifically, they found that people who didn't get enough sleep ate, on average, 385 calories more per day than people who got enough sleep. It makes sense when you think about it. The purpose of sleep is to refresh your energy for another day. If you don't produce enough energy from rest to sustain you during the day, your body's going to find other ways to get those energy needs met. The easiest of these being to simply eat more. Health experts recommend getting at least 8 hours of sleep per night. It turns out it could help you lose belly fat. Stay hydrated. Drinking water helps to prevent you from eating extra calories. More water makes you feel more full so you don't have as much hunger or food cravings. When your body is adequately hydrated, it's able to make more effective and efficient use of the energy and nutrients you do provide it, and therefore it requires less of those from you. In other words, when you're properly hydrated, your body works better, so it doesn't need you to eat as much to function. Beyond just being sure to drink enough water throughout the day, start your morning with a glass with water. Make it warm water, in fact, and you give your digestive system a good gentle cleanse to start the day. It also improves your metabolism for the morning and subsequently for the rest of the day. Drink hot or warm water throughout the day to essentially melt fat, particularly visceral fat. And getting back to the original point, just drink more water, any temperature throughout the day to stay hydrated and reduce the urge to eat. Limit sugar. Sugar in excess places strain on the liver, the reason being that simple sugars only provide a quick energy fix. They don't provide sustained energy. When the body experiences the sharp spikes and subsequent energy drops from eating simple sugars, it starts to arm itself in other ways to provide more sustained energy and smooth out those sharp swings. The easiest and most obvious way for it to do this is to create its own fat stores it can draw on when the energy spike from the simple sugar wears out. Therefore, when you eat simple sugars like desserts, breads, and anything made with refined flour or granulated sugar, the liver can trigger the body to store more fat than it would otherwise. One of the first places the body stores fat is the stomach. Instead, opt for complex carbohydrates that break down more slowly and therefore provide the body even more sustained energy. Examples include whole grains, oatmeal, beans, peas, and vegetables. And even those, eat only in moderation so you don't still wind up with any excess sugars not necessarily for your current energy needs that would end up also being converted into more stores of fat. Eat more fiber. Of the vegetables that you do choose to eat in your diet every day, make more of them high-fiber vegetables and also eat plenty of high-fiber fruits. High-fiber vegetables like summer vegetables and high-fiber fruits like apples, bananas, oranges, and strawberries can help you feel fuller faster and therefore eat less. All that natural fiber also helps push excess waste out of your digestive system that could otherwise contribute to excess body weight, particularly around the midsection. Besides high-fiber fruits and vegetables, other high-fiber foods to incorporate into your diet include bran, barley, and whole grains, peas, beans, and legumes, and nuts and seeds. Eat more protein. Protein's another key nutrient to eat plenty of in your daily diet, the body breaks down protein at a much slower rate than it does carbohydrates, so the energy it provides is more sustained. Due to the nature of this protein, it causes the body to secrete a hormone called peptide YY, whose role is to make you feel full, which enables you to maintain weight by optimizing your energy usage. This encourages your body to shed excess weight it doesn't need to store anymore. It also helps you to build muscle instead of fat, which in turn keeps you feeling strong and therefore in less need of more food to fuel you. Chew thoroughly. Whatever food you eat, be sure to chew it carefully before you swallow it. 
Much of the digestive process in terms of nutrient absorption occurs in the mouth before you ever swallow the food. By the time the food hits the stomach, you've already absorbed some of the nourishment you're going to get out of that food. That means some of what reaches your stomach is processed either into waste or into fat. By chewing your food thoroughly before you swallow it, you ensure that you get the maximum nourishment you can get out of that food and therefore eliminate your need to eat more food to reap that same energy benefit. In other words, by chewing more, you eat less, and by eating less, your body produces less waste and fat. Limit Stress Stress affects every part of your body, but how you deal with it can make or break your weight loss goals. Most of the effects of stress are behavioral rather than neurochemical. It makes us eat more because we use food as a substitute for dealing with stress. The truth is, eating food to make yourself feel better is usually a whole lot easier than actually facing the stress head on. People tend to gravitate towards something that doesn't require anybody else to do it. It's immediately satisfying and doesn't take a whole lot of effort especially if you're just opening up a package or box. Stress eating can only lead to one thing, growing your belly rather than shrinking it. If you find yourself stress eating, take a step back and think, what's causing my stress and what can I do about it? Find a way to remedy the solution or talk through it with a therapist rather than turning to a bag of Doritos. Walk every day. If you don't have an established exercise routine, walking is a pretty good entry point. One small study published in the Journal of Exercise, Nutrition, and Biochemistry found that obese individuals who did a walking program for 50 to 70 minutes three days per week for 12 weeks significantly slashed their visceral fat compared to a sedentary control group. Even if your starting point is a one-minute walk, if that's more than what you've been doing, there's a health benefit to that. One of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to lose weight is that they try to do too much too soon and get burnt out. Starting slow and working your way up is better than overdoing it and giving up. Commit to going for a quick 10-minute walk after dinner and slowly increase the time as you become more comfortable with daily movement. Eat more fats. If you want to lose fat, you have to eat fat. The healthy kind, that is. Adding healthy fats in the form of monosaturated and polyunsaturated fats can help you feel more satisfied with your meals. Fat sources you should boost in your diet come from unsaturated fatty acids found in foods like olive oil, nuts, avocados, fatty fish, and eggs, as they can help increase satiety while providing a variety of health benefits when consumed in moderation. You can increase your intake of healthy fats by adding some chopped avocado into your salads, enjoying wild salmon twice a week, and having a little peanut butter with your post-workout snack or smoothie. Just remember to enjoy them in moderation as they're still very calorie-dense.